Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create 5 minute walking catchments around the ex existing Footscray Centre using an extension in ArcMap called Network Analyst. First thing you need to do is open up ArcMap and then add some data. Here I've already got the layers for the road network, Footscray and the activity center. I'm just going to change the color of this and change the color of the roads so you can see them a bit better. And I might just make the center a bit big, bigger as well. So this is the area that we'll be working with. What I next need to do is I need to project this layer, the data in this layer to a system that's going to work when we run the service area analysis. So just select your input data type as the roads and give it a name projected roads and then we need to select an appropriate output projected coordinate system. In this case I'm just going to drop down to UTM and then this one, Southern Hemisphere and the zone that Australia are in is uh, 55S so I'm just going to select that, hit OK and hit OK. This will generate a new layer for the roads or our network system. As you can see down the bottom it's just telling us that it's correctly made that layer. Now we want to right click over the projected roads layer and go to attribute table. This will bring up all our data. Go into the top left hand corner to the table options and select add data. In the add fill name call it length and make it float type and just hit OK. If you scroll across to the end of the attribute table you can see that this is added a column called length. So we'll right click on it and go to calculate geometry and then from the units we might change it to kilometers just because we're doing a big area and hit OK. This will populate um, the length field so this will give each segment of our roads um, a length. So I'm going to repeat the process and add another field and this time we're going to call it uh, minutes and we'll leave, sorry, speed, leave the type as short integer, hit OK and this has added another field at the end of the table. So I'm going to repeat the process, right click, calculate geometry, Oops, sorry wrong one, right click field calculator and from here we just want to set the speed to 5. This means that for each of those segments of the road, someone walking along the network will travel at a pace of 5 kilometers an hour. I'm just going to add another field, and this time let's call it minutes, and select the type as double and hit OK. Just adding the last field to our table, and we just want to right click and go field calculator again. And this time we'll put in a bit of an equation. So we want to select the length of the network divided by the speed and then we want to times that by 60 and hit OK. So this will give us the walking pace. So this field will determine how long it takes someone walking at an average speed of 5 kilometers an hour to travel that distance along the network. You can sort of test this by selecting one of the lines and then going to zoom to selected. And in our map view you can see that it's selected this segment of the line. Now you can use the measure tool 
and just go to select by distance in kilometers just zoom into it snap one end to the next yep. you can see the length in distance and just go back to your table view and scroll down to selected and we can see if we scroll right along to the edge that that matches up so that's correctly calculated our length speed and minutes now we're going to add network data set on the right hand panel select art catalog and then expand your folder connections to the projected row layer we just created right click and go to new network data set it's going to accept the default name hit next don't want to model any terms at the moment hit next it's going to select that default hit next and hit next num hit next we don't want any driving directions so we'll go in hit next and hit finish so create your network data set select yes so build it and then if you hit yes close to that it will add it on the left hand side in your table of contents and as you can see in the map view it's created a net network with all the intersections of the movement network so where each line segment hits another one it'll create it as a little point file there so you go up to the top to customize and then extensions we need to load the network analyst extension I already have it but if you don't just tick it and hit OK this will bring up this toolbar drop down from the network analyst and we're going to select a new service area this will also add it to the table of contents on the left hand side of the screen now to show the network analyst window so just click on this button here and it will open a new contents right click over the facilities and load locations so this is the the start point of our service area so we're going to select the Footscray Centre because that's where we want our service and analysis to run from and hit OK double click on service area in the layers panel and under the tab polygon generation we want to uncheck trim polygons and for the overlap type you might just leave it as rings and for analysis settings this is where you can set the default breaks in terms of minutes so we're going to go 5 10 15 20 all separated by a space hit apply and OK now the next thing we want to do is to solve this so click on this button solve and here we have service areas calculated from the center of Footscray moving along that network that we created and this is showing us how far you can get within 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes and 20 minutes of walking you can expand the polygons down here you right click and open the attribute table for the polygons you can see there that they've created a new shape file layer for each of those catchments so we'll just select the five minute catchment right click over polygons down to data export data and we'll just give it a name five minutes and 
activity center and just hit save and OK so this is just going to create a new layer and then what we can do with this I might just adjust the transparency to 50. There we go. Let's remove the, some of the layers. Now, what we want to do is we want to select the property parcels that are within this catchment. So up the top go to selection and then select by location. For the source features we want to select the Footscray layer because this contains the lots and then we want to select lots that are completely contained within the source feature. Sorry. Yep. And hit apply and they should be selected and hit OK. And then right click over Footscray to the attribute table. You scroll down you can see that it's selected all the lots that are within five minute walking distance from the activity center. So then we're just going to export that as its own layer as well. So right click data, export data. And then give it a name. Oh, lots within five minutes save and OK and that's going to export it to a new layer and add it to the map. So we can just uncheck the catchment, hit select. So it's just a bit of a bit more of a realistic representation. And we can right click on the data and then we can export this layer to a CAD file automatically selected our input feature so that's fine. Just want to check the output file and the drawing type is okay. Just going to give it a new name. Lots. Five minutes save it and OK. You can see down in the bottom right hand corner it's thinking about it. And now it's added that and it's exported it to a CAD file. So now if you open AutoCAD you should be able to open those lots.